adoration are due to Allah. The omniscient and the omnipotent, the one with the totality of all forms of knowledge, the owner of knowledge, the one whose attribute is the knowledgeable, the most wise, whose laws are full of wisdom, who says in the glorious Quran, depicting the position of elevation in ranks of ulama, those who have knowledge, Allah says in the glorious Quran, Allah elevates the Allah elevates the position of those who believe. But those to whom Allah bestows knowledge have elevations in ranks over and above those who are not knowledgeable. I bear witness and testify that nothing, nothing whatsoever deserves true worship except Allah alone without any associate. Who says warning against bad ulama, against evil ulama, who are so drawn in whims and caprices, who are also drawn in materialism and quest for material acquisition of this world, only using the knowledge which Allah has given them, putting in abeyance the laws of Allah and the do's and don'ts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who says in the glorious Quran, commanding Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and rehearse to them, O Rasulullah, tell them the story of those to whom we have given the knowledge of our own signs, of our own verses, of our own ayats. But unfortunately, they severed themselves from those aspects of knowledge. They distanced themselves from that knowledge and but follows their whims and caprices. And consequently became among those who are not on the right path and they became misguided through by the use of their whims and caprices. Allah says, had we willed, we would have elevated such scholars with such knowledge. But they have reclined to the world. They have reclined to the world through following their whims and caprices. The similitude or example of such scholars or such a scholar is that of a dog. If you scare it, it will continue to pant, and if you stop, dog will continue to pant. May Allah forbid. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I also be a witness and testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is Allah's servant and messenger who warned against seeking knowledge for other considerations and purposes other than seeking the pleasure of Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, whoever seeks for Islamic knowledge in order to become argumentative between him and other scholars, ulama, raising arguments, unwanted arguments, irrelevant arguments between him and scholars. To do this trouble, tomorrow that trouble and ensue ulama into this. Or seeks for the knowledge in order to beat the, the non-knowledgeable, the not discerning minds. Today you will dribble them this way, today that way, and so on and so forth. Or uses it in order to attract people to himself, Allah will put him in the fire of Jahannam. May Allah forbid. May Allah continue to show his peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His distinguished family and his righteous companions who are godly and sincere in whatever they do. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the theme of the sermon today centers thus. The chair of Islamic scholarship is great and its responsibility is weighty and critical. Brothers and sisters, respected brothers and sisters in Islam, indeed the best counseling that can be offered to a Muslim 
is to counsel him to be conscious of Allah, meaning to fear Allah. I counsel you and myself to fear Allah. May Allah grant us his, his consciousness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, ulama! Oh, you ulama! Oh, you ulama! Fear Allah! And be conscious of him, the most high. And be godly as he, Allah, did ask you in the glorious Quran and that you should be godly because of what you are teaching people, what you are rehearsing to Muslims in order to be equipped with the Islamic knowledge. You should also know, O oh you, ulama, that you are the possessors of Allah's consciousness and the fear of Allah, as Allah says in the glorious Quran, indeed the most deserving in fearing of Allah are those who are ulama. Be warned, O oh you ulama. Be warned and don't be among the evil ulama whom Allah criticized in the glorious Quran, describing them with terrible uh, characters of, of venturing into whims and caprices and materialism. Be warned, don't be among them. And the worst example Allah gave to such ulama is like that of a dog. Like that of a dog. If, uh, if you scare it, it will pant. If you don't even scare it, it will continue to pant. That is a dog. May Allah forbid for an alim to become like that. Brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah guide us all right. Oh, Nigerian ulama, most especially the northern region, ulama, what befell you of fitna which dragged you into abusing one another? What fitna? What fitna of bad, of misuse of social media that pushes you to become abusive to one another? What kind of deception befell you that you instigate one against the other and the other against another one. What is that? What befell you, O oh, ulama? What befell, befell you of degrading one another? Why do you throw to the dustbin of an abattoir that is so filthy and dirty the teachings of ulama? Be warned. Be warned, O oh, you ulama. Be warned. Indeed, the superstars of the social media, among ulama, who misuse it quite unfortunately, brothers and sisters in Islam, wallahi, if they will take inward by discerning themselves, talking to themselves, wallahi, if they talk to themselves by themselves, am I really on the right path? Where am I supposed to be? their minds will tell them you are supposed to be in the school. You are supposed to be in the school learning, not coming to tell people that you are an alim because you are not yet one. Because you have not read fully to that extent that you will be able to do that. But quite unfortunately, a lot of us want to take their knowledge there without certification. Therefore, you can take forged knowledge you can take fact knowledge quite unfortunately. That is why it behoves you really to also venture into the search of true knowledge. And that it is not befitting. It is not befitting for ulema in court, in court, if the, at all they are ulema, to raise dust on issues that are so cumbersome that are so difficult, or issues that are not indeed needed. Nothing will make you bring that issue. And that the position of such, uh, such problems are supposed to be within the confines of our universities 
or the corridor schools where our ulama are. If you feel you can give sick for that, in the university there is what is called inaugural lecture. Inaugural lecture is when a scholar, a university professor, or not even less than a professor, who feels that he has come of age that he wants to introduce something new or something that is difficult. Then scholars from all nooks and corners having that specialization will come and say, okay, go ahead. And people will ask him. And sometimes he will despise himself that, yes, I have not yet known knowledge. Because they will tell him the, 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 the pitfalls here, you didn't look at this, you didn't look at this. Even in terms of lexical construction of what is you don't even know. All your sentences are wrong. Even the basis upon which you want to put this is even wrong. But today everybody will come, say, okay, open the camera, and you'll come and begin to do it and do it. And because people want people who raise dust and they want to listen, Islam is not a political party. Islam is not wrestling field or boxing field. Islam is organized, please, brothers and sisters in Islam. And we have to go through this organized way. It is indeed uh, very, very important. May Allah have mercy on Nigeria and Nigerians. It is only in Nigeria that when you feel you want to say something, you can just from the blues say it the way you want it, how you wanted it, and you go scot-free and nobody holds you responsible. It's only in Nigeria you can do this. Elsewhere in the world you cannot. Well, all these warriors of social media, you will not find them anywhere. Anywhere. In one of the countries, one, one island, so respected, so distinguished, went on his, when went by himself singularly to announce the creation of the month of the month of Ramadan, he was arrested. When he was arrested, they said, of course, we respect you and you, we know your dignity, but have you been assigned to do this? There, are, there, is, a, there is a quota which has been set aside for that. He was arrested and warned. But in Nigeria, you can do it. You can do it. You can see the way we begin first in this state, different, that community, and the goal scot free. It's only in Nigeria you do this, but you can't do it. Elsewhere, somebody, I think, those who don't know, went, I think it's in Medina, they went with their microphone where they want to call because Saudi is Sunnah. They said, they, they arrested them. They said, do you think this is Nigeria? You come, you want to just make noise and go scot free. You don't do this. It's only in Nigeria that you can do this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, indeed, giving a protection to the deen and its teachings is paramount. One of the most important duties of Islam to make a rejoinder. But alas, alas, for those who are well groomed, those who are knowledgeable, those who know how to do it. Because you have to know the, 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 the way it is done. This is indeed very important. And while giving a rejoinder, while answering certain things that go contrary, you do it in, with apportment, with courteousness, with respect, without having to abuse anyone. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is indeed painful. You find people talking on issues that they, are not, that they don't specialize. And these social media warriors, they want to talk on everything. On economy, if you have, what is economy, he can define. They want to talk on judiciary. They want to talk on constitution. They want to talk on sociology. They want to talk on this and that. And they don't know anything. They feel because they said they are ulama. And they, they all call themselves sheikh. If you ask them, who shakes you? Who shakes you where? Can you say that I hold a, can you say that I am a specialist in, in I am economist, they will ask you, where did you graduate, isn't it? And you know, there is the record of convocation, isn't it? Whether you graduate or not, it is there. And if not, that may give rise to litigation in the court of law. You can say that you are a lawyer and you think you put the regalia and you go in, 
No, you will be arrested. It's not in Islam. Whoever feels, maybe because he has taken one drug or the other, or maybe because of the so many complexes he suffered, then he feels he wants to become an alim and do whatever he wants to do. Quite unfortunately, we really have to be warned and we have to be careful. If you don't want to be dragged into these useless or unwanted squabbles, better you go and study. Better you go and learn also. If you ask what would have been the reasons behind this menace, this semi-sickness within us today, one is because people want to show, I want to show myself that I have arrived and it is said that is the basis of one's uh, fall. Two, um, wanting to wanting to become high, being pointed. Three, wanting to three, the the disease of envy and hatred. This is also part of uh, part of it, brothers and sisters in Islam. Ignorance is also part of it because if you, those who have knowledge are afraid to talk until they are sure of want to, what they want to tell people. There are very many reasons, brothers and sisters in Islam. May Allah guide us aright. May you continue to be with us. May Allah guide our ulama. May Allah give them decorum. May Allah make those who are deceived by social media to venture into things they don't know and cause trouble within the society. May Allah give them the might and men and the mind to be deciding to think that they should lower themselves and go and study. May Allah relieve us of the trying times we are passing in this country, the economic meltdown. May Allah Taala grant us what to eat and what to solve our problems. May Allah make it easy for us. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.